Hey, what's up guys? My name is John and I'm an emergency medicine PA and this video is about physician assistant schools, graduate programs which are on academic probation by the ARC PA. What does it even mean and should you consider attending one of these programs? Before I get started, if you guys could please hit that like button down below and also if this is your second or third time watching one of my videos, what are you waiting for? You should subscribe to the channel. So the ARC PA is an independent organization that sets the standards for PA education and reviews PA programs to ensure that they are compliant in terms of function, structure, and performance. And the ARC PA gives every single PA school in the United States a sort of accreditation status. There's provisional accreditation which is reserved for new programs that are being observed and this status could last for up to five years. Continued accreditation or all the programs that are accredited. Keep in mind that every year schools are constantly being monitored to make sure that they stay up to ARCPA standard. And then we have the topic of this video, which is a probationary accreditation, which is a temporary status that a PA school goes on to when they fail to meet some of the ARCPA standards, whether it is paperwork issues, administrative issues, whether it is actually their clinical sites or their teaching materials or their structure of the program, because there are so many specific things from composition of your faculty to how many clinical sites that students to, are getting to quality of clinical sites. And the ARCPA has very, very, very high standards. So to find out if a PA program is on probation, other than when you're applying through CASPA, obviously you could go to the PA program's website itself, or you can go to our, the ARCPA's website. On the ARCPA's website, they have a full list of schools on probation. The report's writing is pretty generic. However, if you want the most up-to-date information about a school's accreditation, you should contact the school and program director yourself. Now that you know how to look up if a school is on probation and to see sort of what put them on probation, I would like to answer the question, should you go to a PA school that is on probationary status? Should you even bother applying to a PA school that is on probationary status? And to be honest, I'm going to go against the grain and say, yes, you should apply and possibly even consider a PA school that is on probationary status. And I will tell you this, I am a fully licensed board certified physician assistant. And when I applied and got accepted to a PA program, that PA program was on probationary status. <gasps> Guess what? I'm a PA. I had a great education at this university. When I was applying, the program director was very upfront with everybody during the interview, essentially saying they know they're on probationary status. They are on the status because of XYZ reasons. They had a new director, new clinical sites, and new fat facilities, new everything. They were really trying to rebuild the program and make it a powerhouse. I, I was not really afraid. I felt very confident in the leadership of our faculty. I also then spoke to students. The students really weren't worried about it. The very next year, the school went back to being fully accredited. If the PA program loses its accreditation status for whatever reason, while they still have students there, those students still will have an opportunity to finish PA school to sit for the pants and to become a board certified PA. Now, what they do is every other student from then on going forward, they say that they are not able to take more students. This sort of situation is currently happening with the PA programs of Heritage University and Lenoir Rhine University. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. Both programs actually published the same cookie cutter response likely given to them from the ARC PA and that is the worst case scenario. They lose their accreditation on an effective date. And any students that were accepted to the PA program but are not able to actually start PA school over there, the university will help them find a spot in another accredited university. For the most part, you have a safety net if you want to apply and consider applying to a PA program that is on probationary status. There's a common misconception that you will only go to schools on probation when you can't get in elsewhere, and that is false. There are people in my PA program that admitted they received seven acceptances to PA schools, and they still decided to come to my PA program, which was on probationary status, and that is because of other factors such as location, quality of staff, the faculties, and especially the price. If you can get a good deal on a PA program, program is 20, 30 minutes away from your home, and you really wanna work in that area, in that region, and it's getting a foot in your door, and you're confident that they're going to become fully accredited again, I don't see why you shouldn't at least consider a PA program on probation. Keep in mind, this is a temporary status. Everyone's like, oh, I wanna to go to a program that gets there together. 
I've seen other PA programs that are very good go on probation. It's temporary. It'll last a year. Maybe it'll last two years. But then the program becomes fully accredited again. I don't think that it should be as much of a deterrent as some people like to make it seem. If this is your only option, so obviously go to it. It is still a PA program. You still will have your foot in the door. You will still become a board certified physician assistant. Keep that in mind when you are applying to PA schools and PA schools that are on probation. And I hope that this video helped you guys out in thinking about this, right? If you still want to completely avoid those schools, you do you, boo. If you actually want to apply to a school, I would not necessarily let the probationary status turn you away. As always, guys, stay safe out there. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.